Hello everyone, welcome back, just Adam here again. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick little video today. Oh, I'm wearing blue, just noticed that. It's a happy little coincidence being in uh, Ravenclaw. So I just wanted to do a little quick video today just on this book, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This is actually one of my favourite books in terms of the cover art. Not my favourite book in terms of the text, but just the cover art with the blue and the green lettering on the top with the... Uh, Dumbledore in the fire and um, this is a pristine unread copy as well and the reason I want to talk about this book today is because mainly because of the way it's listed online so I didn't plan on doing this but over the past couple of days um, I've noticed so many listings online where they point to this supposed error on page 99 so I just wanted to address that so in the first edition, so you can tell this is the first edition. If you turn to the copyright page, you can see it says first edition, just right down there. That's how you know it's a first printing. All the books from Goblet of Fire onwards have that word first edition at the bottom. Um, so the first print run of this book, according to the JK Rowling bibliography, was 6.3 million copies. Okay, By any standard, by any measuring stick, that is not a rare book. So if you ever see this listed as a rare book online, 6.3 million copies, this ain't a rare book. But what some sellers do, and I'm not I'm not talking here just about, you know, people who might have a copy of this book in the house and they want to try and sell it like on Gumtree or or just put it on eBay. I'm talking about reputable book dealers here. So they'll often refer to this supposed error on page 99. So the error on page 99 so you'll see here at the top on page 99 where is it it says um and when you've got your 11 outstanding OWLs, so that 11 there should read 10 because mine you only sat 10 um OWLs. um but a lot of sellers will refer to that and say quote or rare misprints on page 99. I did a search earlier, there was hundreds of listings for those keywords, rare print on page 99. That error was spotted by Bloomsbury shortly after the publication of the book, which means 6.3 million copies of the book had already been printed by the time this error was spotted. Any sellers who list this, and I'm talking about rare and antiquarian book dealers who should really know better, who list this as a rare book, it ain't a rare book. That error it was supposedly corrected in later reprints. I've never actually seen any later reprints of this book. Apparently there's reprints of it up until like the fifth or sixth printing, but I've never seen any printings beyond the first printing. Even the box sets which have the books one to seven in, Half Blood Prince is a first printing in that. But that error was corrected in the paperback, which I have right here. So the paperback came out um, about about 11 months after the um, the hardcover um, in a print run had a print run of about half a million copies um, so not quite as many as the um, as the first printing hardcover but still a lot of printings and you can see on page 99 that 11 has changed to 10 outstanding order loss so it was corrected in the paperback edition um, what a lot of people don't and what I haven't seen a lot of is that this mistake of 11 outstanding OWLs is also present in the Canadian edition, which I have right here. So same again on page 99 in the Canadian edition, it says 11 outstanding OWLs. You can tell it's the Canadian edition because it has rain coast on the side. And this is also the first printing. You can tell from the number line there at the bottom, the number one, indicating it's first printing. But this is also in the first American printing of the book. So this is actually on page, I just checked this earlier, so this is on page 100. So if you turn to page 100, it's near the bottom there, and it also says 11 outstanding or wls you see it just down there at the bottom 
there was over 10 million printings of the American first edition. 10 million printings of the American first edition plus 6 million printings of the English first edition, over 6 million. That's over 16 million books with that 11 owls error. That is not a rare error. If all the first printings have that error, it's the same as saying that none of the first printings have that error. So it doesn't make it any more of a rare book. So that's it for today. I just wanted to address that. Um, 11 OWLs, uh, 11 OWLs. Um, supposed error in that book. This book, the UK edition, if you live in the UK, you can pick up a pristine copy of this for like a tenner with shipping as well. If you live in America, shipping, you're probably looking at about 15 quid alone for shipping, so you're gonna have to pay a bit more. But in the UK, these are readily available in this kind of condition for less than 10 pound. Um, the most I've seen one of these listed online, unsigned, I've seen them listed up to 500 pound. You do not have to pay that, okay? Save your money, don't pay more than a tenner for this book. All right, see you later.